Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name is Steph. So if you want to get into freelance development, chances are you're going to be doing freelance web development. You're going to think about building CRUD apps, CRUD short for C-R-U-D-E, create, read, update, delete. These are the standard commands of databases, SQL based databases. So you're going to be working with databases. You're going to be doing web, HTML5, CS3, some JavaScript, could be a lot of JavaScript, it could be some JavaScript, depending on circumstances. You're probably going to be working with small business, like 99% chance if you're freelancing. You're probably going to be working with um, Linux-based servers, Apache, although Nginx may come in, occasional Microsoft. You're probably going to be working with a content management system. I wouldn't be surprised if you work with WordPress, the dreaded WordPress, Drupal, Joomla, and there are others out there. Who knows, you might start working with web builders like uh, Wix, uh, WordPress, I guess you could argue about some of the advanced theme engines built into WordPress. Well, you can get for WordPress are pretty, pretty robust. There are many others uh, out there. They slip my mind at this point in time. Uh, one thing I keep pointing out uh, in the web development game and design game, you don't want to see these uh, web builders necessarily as competition to you. They can be, but you got to look at, them, look at them as tools that you can leverage depending on the particular client. You may have a client that has a tiny budget, so you can crack out something uh, with one of these web builders pretty quickly. In a fraction of time, it will take you to do things from scratch, and it's warranted. Remember, even when you're doing simple web design, it's not just being able to use a program or a web builder. You have to understand what it is you're doing, you know, putting together proper images and the copy, picking a good domain, all this kind of stuff. So there's a lot of uh, soft skills oriented, if you will, uh, aspects to freelancing. And so it's not necessarily all about code. What to take away from this video, if you're interested in getting into freelance development, the vast majority of time, it's going to be the web, no question. HTML5, CSS3, and some JavaScript. And then from there for server side programming, when you're getting into web apps creation, web app creation, uh, it can be JavaScript again, it could be PHP, it could be uh, C Sharp, Java, it could be Python, Django. Although freelancers are typically working with small business, which means typically you're not gonna be working with Java for small business. Typically you're not gonna be working with C Sharp. It's probably gonna be JavaScript, PHP, maybe a little Python. So if you really love Python and you wanna go freelance, it can work, but again, in terms of the number of jobs out there and the opportunities, you're probably going to see a lot more JavaScript PHP for freelancers and small business. Again, all these opinions about probabilities and language use and so forth that I talk about in so many of my videos, it has nothing to do with my assessment of the quality of the technologies themselves. Just because I say PHP and JavaScript are the most likely technologies you're going to use as a freelancer as opposed to C Sharp and maybe Java, or Kotlin or Swift, it's not because I think that those languages are inferior, not at all, not even close to that. It's just a question of probability. What you're going to find as you become more and more advanced as a developer, you will find certain languages have their pros and cons, certain languages you're gonna prefer working with, just like some people prefer driving this type of car or that type of car, but at the end of the day, they're all pretty good. All right, I hope that helps. You wanna get into freelancing, you wanna be coached and mentored step-by-step step from knowing nothing to becoming a very effective and profitable freelancer. Check out my mentoring bootcamp, links below. Everything that you need, all the text training that you need, all the freelance training, the project management training, all the client management training, certifications, everything that you could possibly want in this bootcamp. It's unique in the world because it's a combination of elements where you'll be learning directly under me, having direct contact with me on a regular basis. Check it out. Links below, UncleSteph.com.